Hello, and here we are at uh, LARPCon 2020 with Humanity Ascendant. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good, good. Yeah, yeah, very good, thank you. Has, has, it, has it been a good day so far? Uh, yeah, yeah, we had some... Uh, really My voice is definitely good, suffering. Yeah, me too, actually, <laughs> me too. Yeah, it's uh, been quite solid, actually. I've had some good chats with people and uh, some definite interest. Yeah, yeah it's been yeah, a very good day yeah. so far. Excellent, excellent. So tell, them, uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, your your game system and how it sort of came about, that sort of thing. Okay, uh, Chris has a little bit more background that one, doesn't it? But, uh, <laughs> so basically, uh, myself and Dave were both sort of war gamers and tabletop role players and also LARPers have been for years and years and years Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, I, my, me myself I've always wanted to do a modern or futuristic type LARP okay. but there's never really been the technology to support a realistic sort of combat system and give you that realism that you, you want in a game yeah, yeah, whereas yeah. like medieval you've got your swords and your shields it's all the combat system's really good and yeah. gritty and everything like that and it's quite easy to achieve but modern's always been a problem you've got people using like nerf and um, airsoft and even calls I mean they're all good solutions yes. in their own right yes, yes. but it was never what, what, what I wanted what so want, yeah. uh, basically sat and waited um, for this technology to come along uh, that would allow us to build the game we wanted to build, basically. So we put this rule book together probably seven or eight years ago, okay. and then waited for the technology to catch up. <laughs> uh, so the laser tag's always been about oh, for like years and years and years, but it was the sort of like the programmability and the stability and yeah. and all the sort of accessories and that that we use that 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 meant we could actually move to a game that that I wanted to actually run and play. Because yeah. you don't want to run a game that you would play. Yeah, and I exactly. think that's the basis of it. Exactly, exactly. So so what is the game about? Okay, so Humanity Ascendant is sat exactly 500 years in the future. Mm -hmm. And the time that sort of tracks along at the same pace as our own. Um, in sort of like 40, 50 years time, uh, quite a few things happen that build up to basically the bombs being dropped. Um, there's yeah. a lot of reasons for that and there's a very deep uh, sort of back plot to the game that two years into the live game the players are now just sort of starting to realise that this this is <laughs> there and something's not quite right with yeah. the world. Beyond it, beyond it of being bombed, bombed to hell, there's actually something more going on. Okay. Uh, they've just been dealing with their own mortality and they're like surviving in their bunker and now realising there's more going on. So, uh, so yeah, about 50 years in the future these bombs all drop and then uh, some survive on the surface and that affects them obviously but our players yeah. are actually uh, descendants of many generations from a bunker called okay. bunker, bunker Ascendant okay. um, and the players two years ago came up onto the surface to, to basically start scavenging for supplies to maintain the bunker and keep everybody alive in the bunker and also start to see what's left of the world, what can be reclaimed, how does, you know, nobody wants to live in a box for yeah, the entire no, that's right, yeah. Um, yeah. So the, basically the council sets out an edict saying that we're not going to force anybody onto the surface, it's up to you, so mm. it's like a yeah. mercenary yeah, type okay. role. Yeah. Um, so uh, they form the Freed uh, Freedom Expeditionary Forces to go up onto the surface, right. and that's where the players come in. Cool. Uh, and that's how it's been going on so far. No worries. So, plot, yeah. Plot, plot twist. It's not all sunshine and lollipops. On <laughs> <laughs> what? Not not sunshine and lollipops? <laughs> there's, there's, there's not much of either. There's, there's a lot of sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's quite warm up there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough. Yeah. Um, so, if somebody wants to sort of come along to the game or what have you, what what can they what can they expect then? Um, well, there's, there's sort of two routes into the the game, which is as a player or as a as crew. Yeah. Um, so Dave will talk a bit about sort of actually playing because he came straight into it as a player. But as crew, you can basically come along, uh, turn up with a decent pair of boots um, and uh, some, you know, some decent weather weatherproof clothing, and we'll sort everything else out. We'll give you a gun to, to shoot people with. We'll give you all the roles, the uniforms, and the costumes <laughs> yeah. you need to wear. Uh, we'll feed you and basically get get to play the entire weekend shooting the good guys for free. Excellent. Um, yeah. So from a, from a player character point of view, essentially because it's post-apocalyptic yeah. kit. It's incredibly cheap in comparison, in my opinion, to a lot yes, of the yes, art yes, systems. Yes, yes. So my starting event, I spent, well, I'm wearing pretty much the same kit I started with, to be honest. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so my character's a former criminal who took the opportunity for redemption as right. part of the FEF to, yeah. to try and to try and better himself. But I think my entire kit for the first event was less than 30 quid. Yes, exactly. From eBay, yeah, you know, yeah. a couple of bits of webbing and belt pouches <laughs> and, a, yeah. and a bright orange jumpsuit, which yeah, you then yeah. covered in spray paint and dirt. So, yeah, 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 um, exactly. So that's the kind of the prep you need. And it depends on the character. 
character class you want to play. Obviously, yes. soldiers need more military camo. Yeah. Um, scientists probably want a lab coat, that kind of stuff. But it's all yeah. modern stuff, so it's quite cheap to pick up from, you know, eBay, Wish, Amazon. You've got multiple routes to buy it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then as, when you actually get to the event and you start playing, it's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> everything on the surface, well, pretty much everything, everything on, the on the surface, surface. is trying to eat you, yeah. kill you, yeah. use oh, you for yeah. some kind of resource, <laughs> recruit yeah. you into their organisation. So, <laughs> yeah, anything. Yeah, it, it, it's very, it is, it's quite a, an intense game and I think we'll talk a bit about the technology in a minute but the technology supports the fact that it's fully immersive yes you, it takes away a lot of the the calls yes. the referee interaction um, from other kind of traditional laps if you like yeah, and, yeah. And it replaces that yeah and the referee team which I'm now part of because I came into it as a player not really knowing what to expect having never done a yeah. modern or post apoc lab before. Okay, yeah. Um, and it's just the ref team are really interactive, so you can come up with ways that you don't necessarily, that they haven't thought of, and everything's okay. quite, it's quite hands on. There's yeah. a lot of kind of, it's simple hard skills, but if like I play an engineer, so I need to understand basic electrics because we do rewiring, LEDs, fans, okay. switches, batteries. A lot of the puzzles in the game are designed to be solved in a real world manner. So oh, okay, right, it, okay. It, and all the classes kind of are centered around that type of concept really. Yeah. So it's very it's very hands on. There's never a dull moment. So, so if you're repairing something, you, might, you you like have to have the repair skill, but also there might be a circuit board that has two LEDs on it and a nine volt battery that you have to connect the wires to. So okay. it's relatively simple, simple but yeah. you have to. It's not just a case of counting to thirty and saying I've repaired it. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you actually yeah, have to do the repair. repair it, yeah. And more so, you've got a QR code on there that when you scan the QR code and that tells you this. So you don't need a gem there to tell you what you need to do. Right. You okay. scan it with your yeah, phone yeah. and and it tells you what what the actions are and it'll say if you like the green LEDs, you've succeeded. Okay. So you ref your own sort of um, yeah. like mini, mini sort of encounter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm oh. with you. Okay. So uh, let's have a talk uh, very briefly then about the technology that allows you to to kind of run this game. Okay. Um, so um, so we've got two two main technologies. Uh, yeah. The first one is the actual laser tag system itself. Yes. Um, this is a professional system that we we actually uh, buy in uh, from Russia. Um, of all places, <laughs> um, so I'm basically a Russian gun smuggler. In, interesting, <laughs> question, interesting questions from customs sometimes. Yes, yes uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but basically, it's uh, the reason we've gone with this system is because it's it's so customizable and reliable. Um, these guns will fire accurately over 200, 300 meters okay. in broad daylight. Yeah, uh, you can't do that with uh, Nerf no, or airsoft no, or right, anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you are hit, it counts. It, it, the, the weapons all do different damage. They all have different rates of fire. Um, you are have different health points depending on what armor you're wearing, what skills you've got as a soldier, things like that. Yeah, yeah. And all that is customizable uh, and it's customized based on your equipment and your player class and your experience and your skills. Okay. And even to the point where engineers during an event can actually uh, modify your equipment, your armor <laughs> right. and weapons okay. during the game and modify your stats in the game right. with, like last the rest of the weekend. Yeah, we yeah, we yeah, are yeah. a soldier's best friend. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Suddenly, yeah. Yes. yeah. Um, and, and so that's uh, the laser tag side of it. It's, 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 it's now, we, we've had two years experience with it. It's very solid now and very yeah. quick to use. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then the other side is, is this QR code system that we've come up with where um, we can program in a lot of information into this QR code and everybody has a, a smartphone these days. Yes. Uh, so we made that a part of the game. Okay. So rather than have to tell people off for looking at the smartphone, we're actually yeah, encouraging them to look at the smartphone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, exactly. So they come along, they'll scan the QR code, um, yeah. it'll give them some information. It could be text, it could be video, it could be audio, it could yeah. be anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, even their own devices, like uh, one of the players has built a side tracker for tracking down psychic, psychically <laughs> and, and <laughs> okay. individuals. Right. Yeah, yeah. And he has a QR code on the side of it, and when he goes into it, it brings up like a menu system. And okay. He goes through that menu system, and GMs can see what he's doing, yeah. and we can put information in there for him, or change it, or whatever, or based whatever. on what yeah, he's doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and obviously you've got the, because you've got a smartphone, you've also got comms links, so, Bureaucrats can talk to NPCs in the bunker that are okay. actually there right. to get information or you know, uh, oh, right. get, okay. su yeah, get yeah, supplies yeah. delivered from the bunker if they're running short certain supplies. Okay. So it's really right. interactive um, in terms of the, the, the smart what the smartphone brings. Yes. Uh, and then I think the next thing is, um, I mean, a lot of people use it, but we use it. I think we do a really good job of it. We use the tactical radios, um, so okay. all the soldiers and a couple of us might have radios. So all the comms is in character, but we also use that to control the flow of the mission. So yeah. 
Uh, we say that um, the, the, the bunker has drones that give them intel. Okay. So the GMs will give the players intel on where the, when people are approaching them from certain directions. Okay. Yeah. So they're not completely yeah, blind. Yeah. So that they yeah. get the feel that they're an elite task force. Yeah. And that's yeah, the yeah. It's like we want to give that impression that you are the elites. You've got all the tech. Yeah. And you're generally dealing with savages, but occasionally you meet things that's a little bit more yeah. than that. But yeah. Yeah. The, generally the feeling we're trying to give is that you are the elite soldier. But then when it goes wrong, it tends to go really wrong. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been close to death several times on yeah, mission. I bet. 15 seconds yeah. of being a fatality. So, yeah, I bet. and the drones, like the other part of it is, if the if the if the GMs, if the players have done something a bit different, the GMs need a bit of time. The GMs can be say, oh, alert combat team one, we have a radiation storm passing through your area. Please yeah. hold position until the storm clears, otherwise yeah, you're going to yeah. be subjected to lethal radiation. Exactly. So instead of just having to force players into a an immersion break in space it's yeah. like oh well yeah we don't want to yeah unless we've got full radiation gear we're not yeah. going in there no that's right yeah um, so it, 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 then that for me all the technology just means that it's probably the most immersive game so thing you, i've yeah, ever played usually, yeah. because the really technology did. just removes all of yeah. that kind of you know i found this gizmo in the woods now i need to wait for a, a ref to a, come a and ref tell to me what tell it does and yeah, i'm going to yeah, yeah. with it and then yeah. they're going to tell me something else yeah. all none of that is removed none of that, none of that. None of that. It, it does still happen occasionally when, yeah. i mean it's not when flawless crazy stuff. yeah and, and when they do do crazy things but but generally you will see a, see a, a, on a mission you'll see a ref probably twice three times in the distance as a player yeah, yeah as a player it's because okay. they're organizing the, the crew and things like yeah, that yeah. And, the, and, and the things that's coming up yeah uh, but yeah you are a squad out there in the wilderness dealing with whatever you've got to deal with all right cool um so if people want to find you on the interwebs uh, and what have you how do they do that um so if you do a search for humanity ascendant larp um, that should bring up our website. I've checked it's it a few times. Info.humanityascendant.com, is it? No, no, it's just uh, HTTP. Uh, colons humanityascendant.com. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. that'll bring up the site. Uh, yeah. the, the info is the old yeah. wiki. Um, so um, that'll bring up the site, and that it's got a lot of information that site. So you've got an art of character element to it, which is how to book, how to get the yes, player's yes, guide. Yes where we run, yeah. all the info you need to know out of character. Brilliant. But then you make an account, but when you make an account, you make it as your character. Okay. So when you go into character, there's an, uh, there's an info hub will open up where you can see stuff that only soldiers can see or only scientists can see. I'm with you, yeah, And that's yeah. like pre-event briefings, okay. any special yeah. information, like soldiers might yeah. get bounties, scientists might get told they're looking for a particular type of flora yeah. to, uh, to help with research and I'm things like you. that. They can talk amongst themselves. Yeah. And then in addition to that, we've got a player wiki. So that's an in-character resource where players put all their reports into. So uh, post-event reports, any research they've done, players yeah, put okay. all sorts of things. Videos, we have elections, like so yeah. the council is a player council. So we have elections, they, they make videos, the players make videos. <laughs> <where> they, <laughs> if you really want to see more videos, <laughs> go and check out my campaign entry on yeah. the But There's some really, really good sort of like Trump-esque type videos where they're like trying to run each other down and get extra votes and things like that. It's really good fun. Excellent, and, excellent. Um, and we've had uh, players like making their own um, radio channels, okay. like DJs, and yeah. we play them events and things like, like that. Pirate so radio pirate radio station yeah, type cool, thing. So cool. uh, yeah, it's Excellent. it's it's a game where anything players want to do to add to the game, we will usually welcome it. We open arms and do our anything best can happen and anything does happen. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, yeah. well, thank you very much for for actually braving the elements right now. I think in the short I do feel short, like I'm in an apocalyptic winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the short space that we've been here, it's been. Gales. It's, there was a little bit of snow for a moment, and then uh, and now it's back to well, uh, okay-ish. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, guys. That's absolutely no superb. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good now, back. And thank you for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to ring the little bell to be notified when things come up. Uh, or why not pick one of these? Come on, just, just anyone. That one. That one. I, I'd go with that one.